Hey guys, hi there. How's everybody doing today? Let's see here. I think we can wave. How is everyone doing on this wonderful evening in Atlas? We are having such a good time with this game right now. Really having fun. And what I think what's making it fun is we're on the Blackwood map. Also, we have an amazing uh, server that we're playing on. We're playing with a group that is hosting the Blackwood map. They're called pvegaming.com. You can find all the information on our YouTube page when this is... Um, we're, got, we're live right now, but it'll be on YouTube here in a little while. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and all that kind of stuff. So, it's getting morning. There's the morning music. And I wanted to show you how much we have had done on the house. It's really... If you watched the last episode, you saw that we finished most of the house. We talked about this, that, and the other, about what makes the house look really nice. And then we added on the stable. So we just love the stable. What we figured out though, when I show you our surprise inside, it is not big enough. Um, we had such an adventure today. If, uh, well, I guess that was the last episode. I said the last episode. Well, but the last episode of the building the house <laughs> was two episodes ago now. But uh, Ram and I decided we needed to go find Honey because she found a level uh, 28 bear. And on, the, on Atlas right now, the highest level you can get is a, high, is a level 30. So when she found that 28, she said, we've got to get that bear. We decided to go find some Honey, um, looked up on the wiki, and uh, decided to go. Oh, these guys are new on the server, and they're asking... Uh, question about the merchants in Freeport. Let's see. I'll answer real quick. Okay. He's the guy that's real fancy. There's a guy in town that he is very, he's dressed real fancy. We have a mod on our server and I don't know the name of it for sure. You can find it, but it's something about merchants. And what you can do is you can buy, okay, up in the, I feel, sorry for these guys, I want to help them because they just started. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, there you go. Um, anyway, they have these merchants and you can actually trade your, your items like wood and stone for gold. We figured this out today and Rav and I went crazy. We we went and got wood like you wouldn't believe we kept breaking our hatchets because we were chopping down so much wood. Got enough gold. So anyway, well I got interrupted in my story. Well what we were gonna do is we needed honey to tame this level twenty eight bear. So we went to an island and be sure and look up the this video because it was pretty fun. We got on the ship, we went out and found an island that had honey. Took us a little while, we got honey we were sailing home. We decided to go to Freeport and because Freeport has salt. And we wanted to load up. That <laughs> They're really excited about it. They said it's so convenient. <laughs> yeah, that I think so. It's very convenient. We were so excited today. But we decided to load up salt. So we got off the Freeport and then we ran on up and we were checking out the people. And Rap realized that all we had to do is chop down some trees and we could get some gold. So we could get some, hire some help on our ship. And then, lo and behold, we saw a merchant that sells all the animals. And we said, well, we don't even need to tame a bear. We can, go, we can just chop down enough trees and buy one. Okay, so let me go show you our amazing bears. And this is why our stable, let's do the door a different way. There we go. Look at this bear. This is honey. I got a female, and when you buy the bears from the merchants, let's take off our backspace. When you buy the bears from the merchants, you actually get a higher level than 30. So we are super, super happy. I have put about 10 levels in this bear, but oh, it needs, goodness, it needs 12 more. You can see already. Now, you may think, well, melee is not that much if you're an arc player, but it is a lot for Atlas. The bears don't have, I think they start out like 120 melee or something like that that and so it takes a lot to get i'm gonna go ahead and put oh 
I want to watch. I want to watch. Oh, that's so fun. That is so great. Anyway, this is Honey. And this is Rabs. And we were lucky and got a male and a female, so they're mate boosted. And this is Smokey. So, you can see our stable is not made for bears. It's, made, it's perfect for sheep and cows and chickens. See, I moved Henny and Penny in. Well, you were with me when I moved the animals in. But I rearranged them a little bit so that they had a, a lot more space. And so, um, we are all set. And then Rap bought her a parrot, too. I don't know how much gold she had to spend on the parrot. But parrots are really good for, uh, I, I can't remember now, maybe for insulation. Oh, no. Yeah, insulation. Crows are good for intelligence. I think parrots help with insulation. And she named it Polly. Let's see if we can get a better view here. So cute. I need, I forgot to buy me one. We were so we were so busy doing what we all those stuff. We, we got a basket for the bunny and a little bowl for the food. See, isn't that an amazing parrot? Oh my gosh. I think I'll take a screenshot of it. I might just use that for the screenshot for the video today because that's a beautiful parrot. Oh, look at his head. He's just so cute. Okay. So anyway, tonight we're supposed to be decorating. So I wanted to show you the stable, what I've done in the stable. I made a little pin here. I put a little board up there for the chickens, and they can roost up there and lay their eggs. And we have a feeding trough that all the animals are feeding out of. Here's our seed box, and I've been putting fertilizer. I've been getting, whoops, in fact, speaking of that, let me pick this up, and we can make more fertilizer. I need to turn my backspace on so I can see. <laughs> Don't want to be picking up the wrong thing. Is that all? Yeah, we'll get some thatch, and I can make some more fertilizer. So we have some baskets and some chests and stuff like that to decorate, and definitely have a lot more to decorations to do out out the outdoors area. And you, most of you saw the kitchen already, but we added a few things. Look at this beautiful vase of flowers. That is, aren't those pretty? I just love those. And uh, that makes the kitchen so happy. And we, I added in, I was going to make some of the preserving bags that we have in Atlas. But Peachy has a preserving box. And uh, supposedly, I think it's supposed to keep things even better than the preserving bag. So, you can see, I, we went and got a bunch of salt. So, I have a lot of salt. Salt is making the items stay fresher. This is Peachy's Grill. We talked about this, and uh, I added some more of the drapes. I did uh, a post about a bug, about the fact that the gray, the green drapes are not showing their colors, but they look really nice. I used three up and three down, three, three of each tall curtain to make ceiling to floor curtains. I really like that look. And you can see in the corner over here, uh, the windows uh, don't have enough room for a curtain on the outside edge. So I think this is okay. Let me know what you think if there's enough, something else. I could just put those curtains clear across, but then I couldn't see out the windows. So I really like that. Look at this little tea set. Let's do our backspace again. Isn't this adorable? So we can have all our friends over for tea. There's a little, I can't see very well. It's a little teapot and or I guess it's, it looks like maybe a sugar bowl. It doesn't even look like a teapot. There is a teapot in the mod. I'll have to get a teapot out. But look at these little chairs. Look at the uh, design on them and the detail on them. Aren't those cute? I just love those chairs. I moved the mortar and pestle in here because I thought that was kind of kitchen, uh, something that could go in the kitchen. We have a chair and a little box here. So, let's go in here, and I'll show you, uh, don't peek yet, and I'll show you as you come into the grand entrance. There's a table here. I was just working on this. I put this little guy statue on here, and I thought we could put another vase of flowers. Let's see if we can go ahead and do that while we're... I have a vase. Um, I think I've got all kinds of... Mm, that's a statue of a cat. Is this the vase? Here we go. Here's the vase. And they're, they're not the easiest things in the world, and sometimes you have to get up on the table to get them just right. But that would look really nice here, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can get this centered. And then you, I don't, 
I don't like having to turn things every time. I'm not sure. Some people might be really good at that. I'm not. And this, I'm not sure that that is the correct texture on the guy or the vase. There's something looks kind of weird about it. But we won't worry about that. And let's see. I had quite a few flowers. We have red and yellow. And these are peat. Oh, what did it say? Purple? So we have three, we have four of the purple. Let's try doing ju the uh, just purple flowers in this face. And again, it's kind of hard because um, there. It's, it's the kind where you you place them and then you have to turn them if you want to. Let's see, I can't see. Oh, that's looking good so far, isn't it? So I could put these out here. Now, oh, you know what? That actually looks good, doesn't it? Ooh, I like that. That looks really nice for an entrance, doesn't it? I think that's just perfect. I wish the guy had a little bit more detail to him. I don't know. It's some kind of statue man. A uh, little statue. But it looks really good. I think I had... Oh, I had these books. Let's, let's see about putting these books. In. Oh, yeah, that looks... Okay, now are they... You have to turn them. See, I wish I could, like, now I need to move them over. Y'all know how to work those? I don't know how to work those very good. Um, I think if I was looking down, I might could see better. But all the arrows and all that stuff, I can't tell if it's straight or not. What do y'all think? Oh, you know, that, oh, I see. Yeah, I think I need to be on top of the table, don't I? Okay, let's try one more time. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't like having to turn things. I don't know why they're not. Oh, I hear the parrot. Y'all hear the parrot? Let's see here. Let's try over here. Uh, okay. Oop, nope, we're doing books. So I think if you put the blue arrow down in the center of where you want it and click once, I think that works. But then it's really, I wonder, can K-Mode work? <laughs> We're seeing ourselves. Let's see. Okay, can we... I still can't tell if it's straight or not. Uh, maybe? That looks pretty straight, doesn't it? Okay, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. If, if I don't like it, I'll change it later. Oh, yeah, look, guys. Let's get out of K-Mode. You know, that looks really nice. I like that. Wow. I love all the Peachy's decorations. They're just so pretty. That is awesome. But I, I really would, I think the best deal would be Peachy's and then add Eco's too. Because there are so many things Eco has, like the little candles and things. That, oh my gosh. I think they, they're just, I love, Peachy doesn't have any candles. Okay. So anyway, all right, we're coming in then the grand entrance, and here's the little hall table. And then you turn and you see there's the, the sitting area. And I'm so mad because, not mad, just disappointed. We don't have a fireplace. I really wanted to build the whole entire living room around the fireplace. But I thought, well, maybe I could use this statue guy. And again, I don't think his texture is right. Oh my goodness, I... I think there's something wrong with me, but it looks cool, doesn't it? And then put these amazing bookshelves on either side. I thought that was a really good thing. And I see the fish is not. I put a fish up there, and it is not centered. So that's something I need to fix. And then I put this little gold chest there. And all of these things have lots of uh, storage. Everything has a lot of storage. And I put these flowers, again, the little blue, they're like little bluebells or cockle shells, or I don't know what they're called. They're so pretty. And uh, I had the, the vase on the floor, but it needed height. So I used that little table, that little end table. That's the uh, common, I think. Let's look. Turn our backspace on. That is the common. I really like the common furniture. Very pretty. This is the high-end furniture. And it's a little bit too high-end for me. I'm not a high-end type person. And I would I would just love this to death if it could be painted. But I tried to paint it and could not paint it. It's just a little bit too red. I, 
you, you know me, I love red. Red's my favorite color, but I don't know. It's a little bit too much for our living arrangements around here. So anyway, you can see I used the green curtains again. I could use burgundy, I guess, in here, even the red, but boy, that'd really be red. But I'm hoping that Peachy will fix her green uh, curtains uh, so the texture's the way it's supposed to be. But I added a little desk, and there's a sex... Oh, I haven't finished, actually. I think I was going to go ahead and put some more books or something on here. Let's see what we have. Here's a little basket. Um, here's a green book. Let me get that ready. Oh, I wanted to see how big this anchor is. Here's a bucket. Let's use that somewhere. There's those pretty bluebell flowers. There's that cat statue, but it just, there's something wrong with it. It does not look like a cat. Got some cha extra chairs. We, oh, better go get some. I don't want that in my inventory. Let's go try to find some, um, well, let's see. Let's put this one more book. Some thatch so we can uh, make some fertilizer so I don't have to have that. If, we, if you have thatch in your inventory and if you've learned the skill... There, it popped up. You can craft fertilizer. I really like that. I like that you can do that. And that used up that food. So, okay, here's some more books. Um, there was a stack of books. Here we go. Let's, tr let's try these on that desk. Oh, and also we have a little end table here on the back of the couch. I thought it'd be fun to... Um, oh, it says it's a bench, but it's... I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? It might not be the right... Actually, it's not the right height, is it? Yeah, let's pick that one up. Might have to find something else. Pick up common bench. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that just wasn't right. Okay, so let's put these books. Number three. Let's do... And let's see. Again, they're... Well, I think actually they're right for this. Let's put them side corner catty corner yeah oh that looks really nice oh my let's pull them forward just a little bit they're a little bit too close to that edge I think pick up yeah okay so these are pretty easy because they're sideways already <laughs> I wonder why peachy did them I wonder if that's a thing that like people like that their stuff isn't straight oh yeah that looks really nice and let's then let's put uh, this green book, like like he's that he's that's an important book he's about to read, or she. Oh, it's upside down. It says, look at it, it's so cool. It says journal. Pick up book. Okay, so if we want to put it frontwards, maybe we have to stand in the chair. I thought that chair matched the setting. Okay, yeah, like this. Yeah, that's that works out perfect. There we go. That's great. And I was thinking about a light of some kind. We could, I wonder where those lanterns are. Let's see, do I have any more lanterns? I have a whole bunch of structures in here. I don't think I'm gonna use these anymore. I'm not gonna use the cat statue. I'm not gonna use that. I'm not gonna use that. I might use that cup. I might use that. I'm not gonna use that. I'm not gonna use that. Um, hmm. I'm not going to use that bench anymore. Why not? What did I come over to get? Something. Came over to get something. Now I forgot. Okay, what were we doing? We were... Oh, lanterns. <laughs> uh, do we have any lanterns left? I made a whole bunch, but I do not see them. Unless they're in... This is the structures all the structures. Nope, I must need to make some more lanterns. Okay. Well, let's go do that real quick. I, I But this back area, I thought that looked so great when you, this whole area was open and I had a big old mess over here if you, last time you were here. And this is the, uh, this is the um, small stone gateway. And I thought, well, you know what? Let's put that in the middle or in this area and that'll separate. I was going to build a a workshop out there on the back side and I thought no I've got room here I've got plenty of room for a for a, a living area 
I just need a little bit of room, so I thought this will break that off. I thought about even putting more walls up here and turning them into the railings, the stone railings. But, again, I thought that was a little bit too much of what was not needed. So, anyway, that's this, we have a little work area back here because I separated this off. And it's really organized now. I can just turn uh, any which way I want. Let's see, lanterns. L-A-N. Let's see, is this the correct one? Yes, let's go ahead and make five. And uh, there might be some in here, actually. I thought I had some, but maybe I used them up. I really love these lanterns. This is with the lantern and torch mod that we're using. Let's see, where are they coming up? Okay, let's go ahead and get to, we can make those while we're, while we're talking. Oh, that, I put this kitty here. It's a, a little statue kitty. And I thought, wow, somebody could come around the corner and get really scared. <laughs> it just about startled me just now. So, let's see, let's put the lanterns in our number one slot. Oh, I... Well, look at that. I had lanterns. I knew I did. Y'all should have said something. <laughs> you know what? I was wondering. I was thinking, would they look better on the desk or maybe put them up? Oh, they won't fit up on top of the wall. Oh, wait. No, these are the ones that are, they will sit on something down here. But I don't think they'll sit on the wall. Let's see. Mm. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Not really. They're not. They're supposed to sit up to the side of the wall, not to on top of the wall edge. I don't think anything fits up there actually. At least not supposed to. Let's put a lantern right here. We'll turn it like this. Yeah. And I have my uh, settings that I went back and changed all my settings so that they're not quite as bright. Let's see here. So the top one is 80, and then 70, and then let me see, 40, and then this one is, uh, I, I think I'll go ahead and just put it 20, because um, it's, um, turn it on, there we go. It's not supposed to be just super bright. There, that looks so nice. Now, anybody would like to have a desk like that, right? Let's take our backspace off, because, gosh, all those words are just blurring everything out. Okay. So, anyway, this is the sitting area. What do y'all think? It's got a throne. We can sit on the throne and sit and visit with our neighbors when they come to raid us in PvP. <laughs> no, not really. We are on a PvP server, hence the name PvEGaming.com. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go upstairs. There probably can think of some more things maybe to do. And if anybody has any ideas, except for fixing that fish, I need to do that. wonder what I could do if I had the... It looks like the fish should go on the one on the right. And then what could I put? Maybe I could turn the fish and have them facing each other. That'd be kind of cool. Not sure. Oh, I wanted to check out this anchor, um, number two. I wanted to see. Oh, you know what? That looks kind of good. I still need to change up this door frame, put it back the way it's supposed to. I did the ship door frame. And you know what? This is going to look real nice. Let's try this. Oh, wow. That's very cool. I love that. Oh, and we have a bell I was going to try out. Oh, it's too big. That's for outdoors. We'll have to think of some way to fix it outdoors. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, I have lots of things, lots more items that we can decorate with. I have this one uh, stack of books, though I'm not sure if that's the perfect thing, but I have a stack of books that we could put here. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, maybe, except, oh goodness, I hate when I do that. Um, you know, that might kind of look good, like sitting on the floor next to the chair or something, or maybe somebody's bed. That would look really neat. Okay, let's do that. Let's see. Just take just the books. Okay, so we're going upstairs. We could go and take that. This is the little pan the little pantry area for the kitchen. This is the kitchen area, dining and kitchen and dining. And then we go up here, and this is the official office down. And I tried. Oh, you know, I did not try these. I don't have my. Do I have my uh, paint and my? 
brush. I, oh, I do have paint. Yes, I do. Let's try this real quick. I want to see. I'm hoping I can paint these. Um, I know Peachy has paintable furniture in ARC. So maybe that's why these are... Oh, it is paintable, guys. <gasps> these are paintable. Oh, that looks so much better. Doesn't that look nice? Oh, my. I'm so glad I tried that. Oh, yeah. That looks much nicer. Wow. Can you paint the throne? I didn't try to paint the throne. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. It's got all these different paint zones, but nope. Nope, 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 no painting. Okay, what about this chair? Let's go... Let's go try this chair. I think I ran out of paint on my brush. Let's see here. Okay. Will this one paint? Mm, nope. Nope. No. Darn. Gosh, I like this chair. I think that's a neat chair. It looks like an old chair that you'd have in your office, doesn't it? Too bad it can't be painted. It's pretty decent color, but I just love this green. Isn't that pretty? Though, I probably should, if I'm going to have this maroon, uh, the maroon curtains, maybe paint them maroon. So, anyway, this is the office. Um, let's go ahead and put our brush away. So, this is the office where whoever is figuring out all the bills and all that. I thought that turned out really cute. And look, the light, there's a lamp on the desk, and it's it's glowing, I think. Oh, actually, is it? No, oh, there we go. And here's a bench to sit. And there's the orange kitty. I think Rav has one in front of her bedroom. I just love this. I need to maybe think of some things here. I could do like a portrait wall and do portraits of all my friends. I have, we can do canvases. That we'll have to do a a video of just that and show how to do that. And we have all our friends on our canvas that we can put on the walls. That'd be fun. Such a pretty, oh, it's getting nighttime. This is facing the west and the sun's going down. But I just love our house and the way it's facing. And then here's my bedroom. I did, if most of you have seen most of it, and I definitely need some pictures or something to brighten it up. Isn't that just nuts? These walls are so ugly. And one of the reasons we headed out to, we were going to go find gems. We have to have gems to, to craft a spray paint gun. I'm not going to even attempt to paint all these walls without the spray paint gun. So we needed gems. So we were able to buy gems with... Um, some of our gold that we chopped down the trees. It was just so amazing. I just love that mod that we have, that we have merchants. This is a little storage area, storage closet. It's got some storage, storage uh, boxes. And then I don't know that I've done anything else up here. I uh, need to figure out something, maybe just storage. I'm not sure. This is Rav's bedroom. Uh, she's, she hasn't done anything different. She had it all fixed. Ooh, I wonder if you could paint her bed. It looks like the same stuff. Let's see. Let's see if we can paint her bed for her. Oh, there we go. Does that paint? Did that paint the pillows? Ooh, let's just paint the green part. She likes green. There we go. Of course, her curtains are maroon, so she might rather have it maroon. She'll be surprised when she wakes up tomorrow and uh, sees that her bed turned green. <laughs> We'll paint her chair, too. She can paint them a different color if she wants. Yeah, it's easy. Oh, that looks so much better. I love that green with that wood color. Anyway, she has access to balcony, so that's kind of fun. I can probably take down the ladder now. I was using it to go up into the on the roof so I could do some work up in there. We could probably... Let's go ahead and do that because, let's see, I, I need to take... The bottom one first, I think. It won't matter if they bust. Make sure I'm taking the ladder, though. Let me see. If I, yeah, pick up ladder. Because sometimes if you pick up the wrong thing, it can be a mess. But again, we have these windows here. And when I paint them, the green goes away. It actually paints the glass. 
So we're all set now to work on, uh, we have a taming pen that way, and then down here is going to be our garden. So we're all set. We went and got gems. Like I say, we, boy, that, working with that merchant and getting gold for chopping down wood. My goodness, that is just the most fun thing ever. I mean, if we were on a, a where where we had to worry about competing with each other and stuff like that, I would say it's probably a little OP. And it makes the game too easy. But you know what? We've been playing Atlas now for a while. And what the reason we stopped is because there were so many bugs and so many problems. And things didn't work right. And this and that and the other. You know, this way, we actually are having fun. And I don't know how long we'll play, you know. But while we're playing, it's not frustrating. It's more fun than frustration. So I love it. And it's easy to go. Let I'll show you on the Blackwood map where we are let's get out of k mode so so we can actually see so those of you who want are interested in playing on the blackwood map let's see if i can get where the sun's shining there we go this is all one grid so it's making it boy when we we needed to go to the island and we ended up if you look at the very far island on the very far west side we ended up getting uh honey that's where we got our honey and then the middle island is freeport so we went and got our honey, and then we went to Freeport, and then it took us about three minutes to sail back home. I, my, oh my gosh, it was so much fun. So much better than spending two hours um, on regular Atlas. That pretty much is how you, what happens. You spend hours instead of minutes going from one place to the other. And if you have to go, if you're playing on a huge grid, yeah, it, it's just it's just very time consuming. I'll just leave it at that. But anyway, so we're having fun on the Blackwood map. Be sure and leave comments, uh, hit the subscribe button, and all that good stuff. And you'll you're gonna see a lot more. We're gonna be taming. We're still gonna try to tame that level twenty eight bear because man, you just they're just rare to find them, and it won't hurt to have some bears to take on the ship and leave on the ship if we want. So we've got a lot of plants, and we're going to have to do the power stone because we're getting old and wrinkly, all kinds of stuff. So be sure and stay tuned, and I appreciate you all so very, very much for watching. We'll see.